What's going on guys? Jacob over here. So we've got some more Green Bay Packers news to talk about today. Not as significant as yesterday's free agency news, but still significant nonetheless. The Packers are bringing back all of their exclusive rights free agents today. Uh, they have tendered all of the contracts and these are usually reserved for uh, undrafted players that were on the team. So that includes Alan Lazard, Jake Kumaro, Tyler Lancaster, Chandon Sullivan, and Robert Tanyan. So all these guys are going to be returning to Green Bay for at least one more year, and I'm pretty happy about that. I mean, you know, none of these guys are really flashy players. They weren't, you know, uh, load up the load up the load up the stats or anything like that. They weren't Pro Bowl caliber, but they all had a role to play on last year's team, and you know. I'm really excited to see what they all can do in the second year of uh, Matt LaFleur's system, especially Kumro and Lazard. I am really excited to see Kumro and Lazard in another year of uh, this offense because both of these guys really showed that they had a level of trust from Aaron Rodgers. And, you know, Rodgers is... He, he, he wants to be able to trust his receivers, and he really developed a level of trust with these guys, especially Alan Lazard towards the end of the year. Uh, if you remember that uh, Week 17 game against the Detroit Lions, Laz Lazard had the game-tying touchdown that helped us get to that number two seed. So he played a really big role late in the season for the Packers. And, um, you know, all these, all the rest of the guys, you know, they, they weren't huge players. They didn't, you know, have a significant impact, but they still had a role to play. And it's still nice to keep some of that continuity from this year over to the next year because I really think this Packers team with a, a full year under their belt is going to be even better next year, even if you made no significant additions at all. The Packers obviously, you know, adding Rick Wagner and Christian Kirksey le or yesterday in the free agency news. But, um, you know, adding keeping these guys on the team, I think it's going to really pave dividends because there was really a level of, like, trust and family, you know, amongst this team. They were very, very close. They talked about how close they were a lot. So I'm really glad the Packers are doing this and bringing these guys back because, I think that they could all develop into really, really good football players. And, you know, um, some of them, you know, I'd like to see maybe an upgrade for Tyler Lancaster. You know, I, I don't think Tyler Lancaster is really a guy you want to be having as a starter on the defensive line. But, you know, he, cer he certainly would have a role to play. I mean, he'd be a rotational player. Uh, Chandon Sullivan, too. I mean, he's not great. He's not bad. He's he's decent. He's he's a really good He's he he's not he's not you know a lead or anything like that, but he's a guy who has a role to play, and you know having guys like that on the team is going to be, it's going to be key for the Packers next year. And like I said, keeping that uh, continuity from one year to the next is really important in sports, especially in a game like football where that locker room has to be really tight and close, or else it's going to be hard to you know win football games with a lot of big personalities and all these guys are fully committed to the team i'm just really excited to see what they can do in a second year with matt lafleur so anyways guys just wanted to get those uh, that little tidbit of news out there for you i know it's been kind of slow lately with the exception of yesterday and free agency but i'm gonna be trying to uh you know find different kinds of things to talk about on this channel uh you know with uh nba and baseball both delayed until at least, you know, June or May or June at the latest, you know, or, or at the earliest, I should say. So there's not going to be a whole lot to talk about. There's not going to be any sports going on for a while. So um, we'll have to see what happens. But I will say this. I am thinking about starting a Twitch stream uh, where I do, you know, like video games and stuff like that. I would, uh, I just did buy MLB The Show 20. So maybe I'll stream that or something for you guys. I will leave the link to my Twitch in the comment section below. I haven't streamed anything yet, but I am considering it. So if I do end up uh, streaming anything, be sure to go follow that and turn on notifications. But in the meantime, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, albersport41512, and on Instagram, using a Jacob underscore Ober, and I'll see you guys next time. Go Pack Go.